Uh, first of all, it was good for uh, Sydney Holiday to uh, get here at home in Morgantown play. So she did a good job. She plays extremely hard, so give her credit. I thought on the fast break we moved the ball better today than we have all year, passing and assists. Uh, early in the game, we didn't move the ball well, but I thought as the game went on, we moved the ball well. I thought at times we did a good job defensively up the lanes. I mean, we created how many turnovers? Uh, 33, 33 turnovers. So we got up the lane pretty good. But then, you know, post defense was not where we needed to be. So we got to get ready. Reality's going to hit our next game. Iowa, we, they have a All-American five. The last game I saw, she was 13 for 13 from the, in the post. So we'll, we'll get ready for Iowa. That's our next game, and I'm looking forward to playing them. Uh, you know, we need to go out and play somebody, and that's what this tournament's about, going out and play somebody. So we'll, we'll see where we're at. Uh, but I was pleased with the passing, uh, sharing the ball. Uh, coming into the game, I didn't even know if uh, 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 Tynese would even play. She hurt her foot in weights, hadn't practiced for two days. So, or big toe is what she hurt. Didn't practice for two days, so I'm watching. I'm, I'm, we didn't know until I saw her warming up whether she was going to play. I mean, so I played her 32 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, overall, I was pleased. Good, Brian. You know, they play hard. They're well coached. Give them a lot of credit, too. Biggest takeaway, uh, you're not a morning team. Early early risers, 10 a.m. game. How difficult is it to play at? Well, it is. I think, you know, I felt Naomi was a little bit sluggish. And it, and it showed she was in foul trouble the whole game, just not moving around. But... Uh, you know, you look at Naomi, she can score and bump. I mean, she played 14 minutes, had 16 points. Uh, and I think she had, what, six rebounds? So, you know, just not moving your feet. But, uh, you know, we can't afford, again, we can't afford a lot of foul trouble. So we we got to be ready to play. I told the players in there, I'm tired. I'm not a morning person either. So I probably coach, didn't coach well today because I'm tired too. I'm not morning. Uh, but I was proud of the girls. I, I, we, we really just haven't had everybody together, and, and it was good to see. I saw a lot of a lot of positive stuff out there. I really did. This is a unique promotion. Um, were you on board with this all the way and, and getting the schools and, and all of that, and, and getting a team? You know it's what? Probably not easy to get a team. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a morning person, yeah. so it took them to talk me into this. Yeah. But it was great atmosphere. And then I was worried last night they're calling for ice. And then I'm thinking if they call off school, it's going to be a scrimmage. So, no, it was a great atmosphere. It was, uh, you know, the girls really loved playing in front of it. So it, it, it was a good deal. It was Did a good deal. Do you put a value on getting all these kids in here to the Coliseum to see a basketball game and to come on campus? And yeah, it, it's great. And it's an educational opportunity. Yeah. And, uh, Hopefully we can get some of these kids and, and they'll go home and tell their parents, hey, we need to start going to some women's games and they're excited and hopefully it, it'll just, you know, keep going. We need to follow up with all the schools and thank them. And, you know, I, I, I was happy we gave them some things in the booklet we gave them about the kids club. And uh, I think we even gave them a free admission to a game trying to get them back. So that was good to see. Who's the second highest attendance at the Coliseum on record? Seems like Tynese's toe was fine, right? She, she was riding. She it was looked fine to me. <laughs> I mean, t two days ago she was limping in a boot, and then I didn't practice her again yesterday because she didn't look fine. And all of a sudden she looked fine today. So, you know, uh, Tynese's tough girl. I mean, it's on the same foot where she had surgery. There's no doubt it would be the same foot. It hurt that toe on the same foot. So at least it was on one foot. I mean, uh, she's not limping on both. But I thought she'd come out, played hard, come out, look good, look good. 
16 points, 5 assists for Kaiser. What did you see out of her for her first Yeah, it was good to see her come out. and get. She just needed to get in the rhythm a little bit. Uh, was moving well, passed the ball well. I'm very happy to see her out there. And Like I said, we just got to get them all out there cons consistently and, and get some chemistry. You know, there was times it didn't look like we had chemistry, but – if we can get if we can get chemistry and get them guards because we have a lot of good guards. Naomi, I consider a guard or five. I thought uh, Kari played extremely hard. You know, gives us that banger in the paint. So, you know, we got a chance. We got a chance. If we can just keep everybody healthy and and keep getting better. Is there a big difference between eight to nine now? Yeah. One. No, I'm just gonna yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean our rotation again. I until I get everybody playing, I, I don't still don't have a rotation. I mean I just you know I, I have to get a rotation, and once we get consistent, who's on the bench, and then we'll get a better rotation. But it makes a big difference, yeah. But can you, when you can rest some of them, it really does. You mentioned Kari, eight and eight, twenty-four minutes. Where is she at on your in your eyes as far as development? Well, she plays hard. Uh, you know, she's got to learn to quit fouling uh, 90 feet from the rim after they have the ball and, and getting in foul trouble. You know, you're going to pick up fouls in the post, but you don't need to pick them up 90 feet from the rim. And she just got to get a little smarter in there, plays hard, getting better defensively, uh, looking for the ball, getting a little bit more confidence. Uh, so she'll continue to get better. I thought Madison, too, for a freshman, did a nice job again defensively, stayed in front created some steals. So uh, I thought the two freshmen did a good job once again. You mentioned uh, fast break points. You had 24 today. Is having Kaiser on the floor another primary ball handler contribute to that? Oh, absolutely. When you have Madison and her on the floor together, you have two players that can distribute and, and, and see the court. It makes a big difference. And then you have the you know, Katrina filling, and then you have Tynese filling, and then you have Naomi filling. I mean, you have a lot of options, and and, and they'll deliver the pass if they're open. I thought uh, Katrina played it hard. Katrina p probably plays the most minutes of anybody we have, quite frankly, because she's in the best shape of anybody we have and plays extremely hard.